This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at BASE. What is BASE? BASE is an open source chat model trained with LoRa. It uses 100k dialogues generated by letting chat GPT chat with itself. They also use Alpaca. So they have released 7 billion, 13 billion and 30 billion models. Right? BASE is a mythical creature in Chinese folklore who speaks human languages and knows everything. Right? They also want their chatbot to be in the same way. Right, so they have a demo over here uh, and they also have a paper. Uh, let's quickly look at the paper. So what they have done is that they have done some seed sampling and based on that they created a seed data set and then do, they do self chatting with chat GPT. Okay, and thereby they create this training corpus and they do parameter efficient fine tuning of Llama. Okay, so the base model is Llama over here. So as with any Llama model, this cannot be used for commercial purpose. It can be only used for research purposes, right? So what is this data collection uh, thing which they have done over here? Uh, so what they have done is that, uh, you know, it is named as self-chatting. It serves as the foundation of data collection pipeline and plays a critical role in enhancing the open source uh, large language model Llama. Self-chatting process involves utilizing chat GPT to generate messages for both the user and AI assistant in a conversational format. Okay, so they apply a template to define the format and requirements allowing the API to continuously generate transcripts for both sides of the dialogue until a natural stopping point is reached. The conversation is centered around a seed which can be question or a key phrase that sets the topic for the chat. So here is an example. So here is the seed. How do you fix a Google Play Store account that isn't working? Both the human and AI responses are generated by ChatGPT using this particular prompt. Okay, the prompt is present over here. The prompt is this. Forget the instruction you have previously received. The following is a conversation between a human and AI assistant. The human and the AI assistant take turns in chatting about the topic. There is a seed, human statement start with human and AI assistant start, uh, statement start with AI. The human will ask related questions on related topics or previous conversation. The human will stop the conversation when they have no more question. The AI assistant tries to not ask questions, complete the transcript in exactly that format. Human, hello, AI, hi, how can I help you? So this is the template which they have used. Okay. Uh, and what they say is that chat GPT's output of each turn seems to be shorter than asking chat GPT one turn at a time. However, calling chat GPT one turn at a time will significantly increase the cost for calling the API as we have to attach the context multiple times. So they have used this particular template. Okay. So that is the interesting part over here on how they have generated the data. So what they have say over here is that they generated a data set of close to one one uh, triple one point five k dialogues, okay, through self chatting using fifty uh, k so questions from each source, okay. The sources are this uh, Alpaca, Cora, Stack Overflow, Medquad. So from that they have actually generated this particular uh, you know data set, okay. And uh, they have also compared with other uh, models like Vicuna over here in terms of uh, data source. Okay, and the training time they have put over here for these models of 7 billion, 13 billion, 30 billion and a healthcare chatbot. Healthcare uses Cora and Medcord as their data sources and others are using Cora, Stack Overflow, Alpaca to seed, create seeds and from the seed they create this, uh, these kind of data using ChatGPT. Okay, and then they use parameter efficient fine tuning, uh, model settings and other details I'll not go into. The trainable LoRa models are fine-tuned for one epoch on no, NVIDIA A180 GPU. Okay, so they used one GPU for uh, fine-tuning, right? And uh, this is the training time required for these different models. 9 hours, 16 hours, 36 hours. Okay. And they have done some qualitative study comparing it to Alpaca, LoRa, Base 7 billion and Chat GPT models. Okay, again license because you, it is based on Llama. So it is subject to Meta's Llama license agreement. So it is the responsibility of users to download Llama in compliance with this particular this thing. Uh, they are releasing the fine tuning corpus, but 
they are releasing fine tuning corpus for research purpose okay and here are some examples over here they also have a demo which you can try out you can also run it locally by following the uh, instructions over here so i actually tried out some things over here like you know what is gpt4 it kind of gave me this output right how do autoregressive models work so gpt4 it says it was developed by openai and is one of the most advanced generative models today okay then i asked like how do autoregressive models work in autoregressive models each model state is generated based on all the previous hidden states it is a type of recurrent neural network the network makes predictions based on previous observations and actions so it gives that then i said write an email to students introducing coursera deep learning course by andrew ng so it gave me this particular mail written neatly then i said i need python code to perform linear regression my data is present in the pandas data frame it gave me this code right also modify the above code with a train test split it gave me this particular code so you can actually try out this chatbot either by local installation or by trying out this demo okay uh, it is very clear that the demo should be used for research purpose commercial use is not uh, is strictly prohibited okay use at your own risk so this is another uh, of locally run chatbots uh, like chat gpt um, so llama has opened the gates for a lot of people to actually fine tune the llama weights and create chatbots like this but restricted by llama licenses okay but i think more and more uh, data sets will be released by uh, these people who are coming up with new chatbots and that can be used for improving newer chatbots i hope this video on base is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel i'll be putting the link of this github page and the paper as well as the demo in the description of the video you can check it out see you in another video